Hi, my name is Jake, and I am a bookish drummer. Being a dog? Hmm. Are you being a dog? Mm -hmm. What do you do? What do you do? So for today's video, I'm doing my book unhaul. All of the books that I'm gonna just get rid of. I don't need any more. I don't want any more. And these are just all the books that I'm gonna get rid of for various reasons, either because I have multiple editions that I don't need, I've read them and I have no real desire to go back and reread them, or they're just books that I've had for a while that I know I'm probably never going to get to anytime soon. So I'm going to try to just either donate them or bring them to my local used bookstore for store credit. Either way, I just want to get rid of them. All right, enough of the preamble. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So for these first four books, I'm getting rid of these editions, not because I don't love these books, because actually I love all of these books, but I have multiple editions. I've got newer uh, paperback versions that I love a lot better. So I'm getting rid of these books because I don't need them. And so I'm getting rid of The Couple Next Door by Sheree Lapina, which is actually one of my all-time favorite uh, thriller books of all time. But it's kind of like an old beat up mass market paperback version and i recently got a newer just better looking edition so i don't need two copies so get rid of that <laughs> and i've also got some hard covers and i don't like hard covers so the burning god i've had this one but i recently got the paperback edition which i actually like better i like the colored versions of these Versus like the all white with a little bit of color. I like the paperback version better. So don't need the hardcover. And then same thing for You Love Me by Caroline Kepnes. Hardcover, not a huge fan of. But I recently picked up the paperback version. Which is exactly the same, but paperback. So getting rid of the hardcover. And then for the chunky book here. Rhythm of War. Nice, big, fat, old hardcover. I just picked up the paperback version, which I love a lot better. So don't need two editions. So some lucky person's going to get hardcover of that. So yeah, I'm getting rid of those. Not because I don't love them. I love all of those books, but I have much better copies in my opinion now. All right, so now on to some books that I've read and that I somewhat enjoyed, but I don't plan on ever going back and rereading them. So I figured might as well unhaul them. And so first off, we have The Right Era Revelations by Michael J. Sullivan. I recently just read all three or six of these books, however you want to envision them. And they were good. Like they were all at least three star books. And I'm covering my mouth here. <laughs> They're all at least three-star books, but for me, they just weren't as good as Legends of the First Empire, also by Michael J. Sullivan, which is the prequel series to this. It just wasn't as good, and they were fun and entertaining, but they're not books that I want to ever go back and reread, so I figured might as well unhaul them, and I think someone who likes a bit more just fun and classic fantasy. They might enjoy these a lot more than I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and on haul those. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. I actually did enjoy this. I gave it four stars. I thought it was a pretty interesting uh, haunted house story with very good and compelling uh, characters especially the female characters in this one were great. 
But at the same time, it's not one that I think I'll ever go back and reread. I got what I wanted to get out of it the first time, and I don't think I need to ever go back and reread it. So hopefully someone finds this and loves it even more than I did. And kind of along the same lines, uh, Children of Ruin by Adrian Tchaikovsky. This is the sequel to Children of Time and the last book in the Children of Time duology. This one was good, but it wasn't quite as great as Children of Time was. This one is a bit different. It leads, it leads more into the horror side of sci-fi, whereas the first book dealt with a lot of technology and evolution and like the science of everything. And this book, while it was good, it was like a three and a half star read. I think Children of Time was just much better. And that book, I can actually see myself going back to reread. Whereas this one, I don't see myself wanting to go back and reread it. So I'm probably just going to keep Children of Time and just unhaul this one. And then a book that I recently read by an author that I do enjoy reading, uh, Cherie Lapina, who was the author of The Couple Next Door, which is one of my all-time favorite thrillers. I've been reading a lot of her stuff and nothing has quite lived up to the genius that was The Couple Next Door. They're all very enjoyable, but they're also kind of forgettable. Like this was a three and a half star read and it was fun, but it's not anything I need to go back and reread. Uh, so, yep. And plus it's a hardcover. I don't like hardcovers. Uh, so this is a good book to unhaul and hopefully someone will pick it up and enjoy it. And then a book that I picked up because I was planning on rereading it because I've heard a lot of people are reading it now, but I really just don't have any interest anymore. And that would be Dune by Frank Herbert. I picked up like a new paperback copy either like a year or two ago with the hopes of going back and rereading it and maybe enjoying it more because the first time I read it, I was severely underwhelmed. I gave it, I think two, two and a half stars. I just wasn't a fan of the narrative style and all of the head hopping that goes on and just the story itself wasn't very compelling to me but I did buy it because I was thinking uh, maybe I'll go back and reread it someday but honestly I have no real desire to do so so I'm going to unhaul it and hopefully you know a big fan of Dune or someone looking to get into Dune will pick it up and they'll enjoy it much more than I did. <laughs> to the stack of books that I've I've had for a while or at least for a few months or so that I've thought I was going to be interested in but I've I've grown I've grown out of my interest for them including one of my favorite authors of all time uh Brandon Sanderson's Legion this is a collection of three of his sci-fi novellas and I read the first one uh on Kindle years and years ago and I thought it was fine like it wasn't mind-blowing or anything but it was pretty good so I picked up, when I saw this was, you know, turned into a paperback, I was like, oh, I'll pick it up. It's cheap. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get to it one day. But I've just, I've had very little interest in Brandon Sanderson's works that aren't Cosmere related. The only thing I've read by him that's not in the Cosmere that I absolutely loved was The Rhythmatist. Everything else, like his sci-fi and his young adult stuff, I just don't care about and... I just don't have any interest in this anymore, so that will also be unhauled. I've got a nice big stack of books here. <laughs> also, we have A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. Uh, I think this year, or maybe last year, I don't remember at this point, but I read uh, Darker Shade of Magic, which is the first book of this trilogy, and it was pretty good. Like, I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed the two main characters, but any other time that we would get a different character perspective, I just did not care. And even like the end of the first book was sort of underwhelming. And now that the second book is larger and I know that we're going to be getting slightly more character perspectives, I just, I lost interest and 
I kept it. I was thinking maybe I'll go back and read it and then maybe finish off the trilogy, but uh, I'm just not too interested anymore. So that will also be unhauled. And then this one will definitely be unpopular because I know a lot of people love this book and people have been reading it and loving it. I tried to read it a few years ago and I did not make it very far at all, but I picked it up this year and I was like, maybe I'll give it another shot. But after hearing people uh, reviews from Andrew and Nico and maybe a couple other people, they've sort of dissuaded me from trying it out again. And that would be the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin. It's, it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't sound appealing to me anymore. When I, when I first picked it up, I was like, oh, man, it, it won a lot of Hugo Awards, so it's got to be worth reading. But just the narrative style of, like, second person and just the, the characters themselves didn't grab, grab my attention. And just hearing people, I don't know, I've, I've heard really good things about it, and then I've heard really bad things about it. And I'll be honest, I'm just not interested anymore, so... Hopefully someone will pick it up and they will love it like a lot of people have. I definitely have the unpopular opinion here. So that will be unhauled. And then I've got a couple of horror stories or horror novels that I picked up. I think I got both of these for free. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll get to them one day. But I'm just not interested anymore. That would be The Return by Rachel Harrison. The only reason I picked this up was because of the cover. I loved sort of the pink and black and how I just think it looks cool but honestly I have no idea what this book is about so me unhauling this I'm not going to be losing anything of value because I like I said I have no idea what this book is about I'm assuming it's a, it's a horror story just by the cover maybe a thriller but I don't know I've, I've heard maybe one person talk about this I don't even remember but yeah I just I have a lot of I have a lot more books to read so Let's just go ahead and get rid of that. And this this was also a cover by uh, It Devours, which has a cool cover and it has like purpley sprayed edges, which I thought was cool at the time. But again, I have no idea what this book is about. And I just, I have a lot more horror books to read. So might as well get rid of some of the ones that I'm not very excited about. So that's another one. And then these last books I'm going to get rid of are all by the same author. I used to read this author almost religiously. Like I, it was basically like Stephen King and this guy. I would read a lot. I would basically read a Stephen King book and then read this guy and just go back and forth. I used to love this guy's writing style, but now I think over the past couple of years, I've tried reading his stuff and it's, it's, it just doesn't work for me anymore. And I, a, a lot of these I've read in the past and I really love, but trying to go back and reread them, I'm like, why did I love this so much? And of course, I am talking about... Oh, wrong way. I'm talking about Dean Koontz. I've read, I've read a lot of Dean Koontz. I think I've read like 35 or 40 of his books. And they just don't do it for me anymore. Uh, Demon Seed, I remember being very good. The Key to Midnight was like a book that I was shocked by how much I I loved this book. Like this was a top 10 book for me when I read it. And then I went back and tried to reread it and I couldn't finish it. So that really bugged me. And then Odd Thomas, uh, very good. But again, I just, I'm not, I'm never going to reread it. Phantoms was pretty good. Um, and then I think the rest of these were books or actually, oh yeah, The Bad Place. This one was actually good with a with a really weird and just messed up ending that's like, what the hell? But yeah, and then a couple of books that I just never got to. Uh, Whispers, Winter Moon, and The Servants of Twilight. So I'm going to just 
get rid of all these books. A lot of them are in not great condition, so I don't even know if I'll be able to get store credit for them. But I can donate them and someone else can give him a shot. Or if someone who really likes Dean Koontz, they can read him and enjoy him. But for now, I just have zero interest in reading Dean Koontz at the moment. All right, so those are all of the books that I'm going to unhaul in one fashion or another, either just by donating them or taking them to my local used bookstore and getting store credit for them. I'm sure they'll be happy to get a lot of these fantasy books because their fantasy selection isn't quite great. It's a lot of like classic fantasy, not a lot of modern stuff. So hopefully, you know, they'll take them and someone will be pleasantly surprised by the selection. So, yep. A lot of unhauls, but I'm I'm also preparing because I just got a lot of books for my birthday and just a lot of books in November. I just posted last week my November book haul, my birthday book haul. And then, of course, I expect to be getting a lot of books for Christmas. A lot of gift cards and then just me buying books for myself. So this is also preparing for that. <laughs> so... Getting rid of some books that I know I'm never going to read again or never going to try out in the first place just seems like a good idea. So yeah, those are all my books that I'm going to be unhauling. Please let me know if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them, whether you loved them or you hated them, or whether you don't like them just like me and you unhauled them. Or if you haven't read them and you're actually interested to try them out, I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts on that as well. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and the Bookish Drummer Discord. And if you'd like to further support me, go check out my Patreon and see what that's all about. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a terrific day. Ha, <laughs> ha,